Okay, Alex, thanks for joining us once again. Um, this week, the club filed its accounts for last year, which showed a very healthy balance sheet. Um, are you able to go into a bit more detail about the numbers? Yeah, it obviously shows a very a positive position for that period. Um, I think it's important to remember that that period's probably quite a long time ago, but in terms of when that was, and a lot's happened since then. So it shows a profit. It was a period that followed promotion in, from League Two into League One. Um, also, the, the COVID period, when obviously operating costs were a lot less. Um, and equally, it shows a, a high cash balance as well. But that really reflects a period when the club were getting ready to purchase the Abbey Stadium. Um, in terms of a, a wider update, I think we'll be giving that to fans at the end of the season around some of our further projects looking ahead to the future. The club received some positive news in recent weeks after a couple of external organisations rated us very highly in the areas of fan engagement and sustainability. I imagine that the results weren't a particularly a surprise to you, but nice to receive nonetheless. Yeah, it's always good to receive those kind of things, particularly at a period that we're in on the field, um, to know that off the field we're, we're doing the right things. Uh, fan engagement index, we dropped to place, but I'd like to think that next year we'll recoup that to a top three position, particularly with the addition of the shadow board, the female fans forums and some of the other initiatives we've got planned. So that was really pleasing. Um, but also in terms of sustainability, a lot of hard work has gone in behind the scenes from uh, the staff here at the stadium and the volunteers. Um, and I think it's a really important part that not just uh, our sponsors want to see us doing, but the wider city and our own community. So really pleasing and, and where we can as we go through developments and refurbishments, we're doing that with uh, sustainability in mind. Certainly one area of the club which has had a brilliant year is the academy and the under-18s in particular. How proud are you and everyone else at the club of their achievements this year? Yeah, I mean, it's been an incredible record-breaking year for them, but um, you know, I think it's important to look back. You know, Tom Pell was here for quite a long time as academy manager and these seeds get planted a long time ago and you don't always see them come to fruition. So it's the fruition of a lot of individuals' hard work. Um, some of them are still here now, but some of those members of staff have left, so we should give credit to them. Um, fantastic cup run, a couple of great evenings here at the Abbey under the lights against Chelsea and Sheffield Wednesday. And then to see 3,000 new supporters um, go to the Emirates and take the lead and, and arguably probably feel a little bit hard done by after 90 minutes to lose 3-2 in the manner we did. But great experience, not just for the, the players, um, but also for the staff. And it, it makes us a better academy for that. Um, and we hope that those individuals can go on and develop further. Another big area of development at the club is the women's side. And this Sunday is the first of three home games here at the Abbey um, for Cambridge United women between now and the end of the season. How would you assess the progress made with the women's team and the impact that the new board has had? I think the new board have been brilliant in what they've done and, and some of the things people wouldn't necessarily see. But it was always going to be a year of transition for us. We've learned a lot. We've made a few mistakes. We, we know there's areas we can certainly improve upon. But if we go back to August, we had just over 800 here for the first game at the Abbey. Um, and we'll be looking to go a little bit further than that over the next few weeks. But um, it's been really good for us, not just on a playing perspective, but commercially. Lots of new partners coming to the table. Lots of um, female-driven organisations starting to work with us as well. And it's also been pleasing to see the work that Charlotte Crisp's doing with the Elite Emerging Talent Centre come to fruition. And we're now starting to develop a pathway. And that's the question we're asking ourselves this summer, is how do we create a pathway that will allow um, female players at under eights come through that system and work their way into the first team. So really exciting, but lots of progress to be made still. Um, moving on to the match day experience, the club put out a survey uh, a few weeks ago asking fans for their feedback on catering around the ground. What was the thinking behind that process and what do you hope will be gained from it? I think it's probably a self-reflection piece. If you stand still in football or any light business, you go backwards. And for us, we invested a lot in the supporter experience last summer. The right thing for us to do looking ahead to next season is to, to gain the feedback of those individuals that are using those services. Um, us as staff have, have gone and got our own views on where we can improve and get better. But it's always good to hear from the fans. Uh, we've already fed that information back to our catering provider. Uh, and rest assured, we want to push the bar further next year. and We want to make the supporter experience even better. And that won't just be in catering, that'll be in all kinds of other facilities as we seek to, you know, maintain the fantastic support we've had this year. I think the average crowd is up over 450 um, spectators per game. We've seen phenomenal uptake in terms of some of the initiatives we've done in the community with junior ticketing. Um, and it's about us building on that and taking it to the next level. Busy summer ahead, season tickets, new kit supplier, new main sponsor. Um, first of all, what's the time like looking for season tickets and when will supporters know more about that? It's going to be an end of season piece. 
Um, naturally, in terms of where we are on the pitch, we need to take into consideration a few things. We're planning ahead for that um, and we'll be in a good position to release come the, come the final day of the season, I suspect. And with the new kit supplier and new sponsor, is everything on track with regards to releasing that information? Yes, yeah, so all of that's done. Um, obviously, to lose Hummel in the way we did through the UK uh, provider going to administration just before Christmas meant a really difficult period. Um, we've managed to navigate that. We've undertaken a, a tender process and we've got a new kit supplier. Um, we'll look to announce that probably in the next few weeks. It's going to be very exciting. We're really pleased. Um, lots of interest in that naturally, but we think we found a a provider that would be really good fit for the club and the fans. And then in terms of front of shirt, so Mick George stepping down after an incredible 10 years of support. Um, we've been keen to find a, a similar partner to work with. Um, that's taken a, a few months to do that. It's a difficult market at the minute, but we're really pleased with the organisation we're partnering with. And um, it's going to be an exciting one, not in terms of just the brand, but in terms of activations that supporters can get involved in. And um, we'll be looking to announce that in the summer. And onto the training ground, we've received planning permission for the new building there. Um, what are the next steps? So there's a lot of legality still going on in the background. Um, it's an exciting project. It's one that we need to, need to do as a football club. It's really important for the future. Um, and I'm hopeful that in the next few weeks, all the things that need to fall into place will do and we can, we can relieve, you know, reveal to the supporters what that's actually going to look like and what that will mean. So exciting, but still progressing in the background. And finally, everybody's aware of the challenging position we find ourselves in um, at this stage of the season. What's your message to the supporters ahead of the final nine games? I think to date, thank you. Some of the crowds we've just touched on have been incredible. It's a difficult period, but every year you'll always see a team come out of nowhere and, and survive. Um, that will happen. So there's no reason why it can't be us. The way the fixtures have now fallen in that last week certainly make it quite interesting. So I think we just need to make sure we're in the pack come the last week of the season and, and who knows anything can happen and it could be very exciting. So stick with us, um, you know, everyone at the club is certainly given 100% to try and make sure we can do everything we, we need to do to try and make sure we're in League One next season. Um, so stay with us and uh, who knows, it could be a really exciting end.